I don't get jealous. But all these guys, assholes. What would it take Horse to get you into this little beauty today? <laughs> because here at Honest Bob Meads Used Cars, everyone's a winner. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> Did you say that the art department is, uh, is communist, or? We are of the people. Communism, you know, it works. Trainees tend to have a tendency of getting lost because they don't know their way around the set with all the commotion. There's always people yelling, people running around, so it's good for us to be high visibility so that our people who are training us can keep an eye on us in case we run out into traffic or, you know, stuff like that. Make sure they know it's for our safety. I could be wrong, but I think I might have seen you up uh, doing this near Quimpo and Roby, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. That's so. what so I do on my weekends. Yeah, how much you made? What's that? How much you pull in? Oh, I just do it for the love of it. Get a hamburger, cheeseburger, fries, and a pop. I gotta go make the price. 420, exactly. <laughs> How do you feel about the uh, sound of uh, the quarry here today? It's a good quarry sound, that's for sure. It's totally usable for my library of uh, sounds. Quarry sounds, I didn't have that before. But You guys gonna have to get room tone and hope that we can phase it out in the post? Or? Yeah, they just, uh, well, there's two things we can do. We can either record this sound uh, and then they turn it upside down. Uh, or we can turn them upside down and record them now, and that'll totally cancel out the sound because they can't work upside down. When he uh, was only a boy, his dad took him to a hockey game. He had this stick here he carries around, autographed by Paul Coffey. Rumor is he sleeps with it under his pillow. So the reason why he's a sound guy is it's the only job he could get where he could actually bring his hockey stick to work and not have it interfere with his job. But... We're calling a cabbie so Nelson to Muggs. get the We're weather. Nelson Muggs. Cleanups and Landscaping cleanups, guards rule, and cabbie. Back the card. Meteorologist. Meteorologist. <laughs> Hot. It's crazy. I'm calling a guy. I don't know to find out what the weather is because the weather guy hasn't got a fucking clue. Peace. Hopefully he's got good news for us because right now we're fucking hooped. It's not raining, Rob. There's no rain happening right now. Yeah. It's all uh, it's all a figment of your wetness. <laughs> so, when I bought this bike, I think I bought this down in Louisiana somewhere. I wasn't sure where. I was drunk at the time. You can't touch it. Don't get too close with that camera, okay? I just don't want you to falling over. It's really nice. Then I went and bought this bike. I think it was in... It was near Graceland, I remember. Anyway, it's pretty cool. I like it. I can run them both at the same time. It's kind of tricky, but I can do it. So, anyway, I gotta go inside. I gotta work. So, later. I used to use the sticks that they the used stick to fuck with. The gapping stick, but yes. they used it to light the lights that were up high. Yeah, that's true. But, who knows? But, uh, the what story I heard, at least, is that the gaffers used to use gaffing poles for some sort of fucking fishing tool or something. It's just basically pull the hook that, uh... Put that cocksucker right there. Jesus. Fucking wasp. Right, because the wings are poor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How can we be gluing bees to dogs? <laughs> For a living. I know. This is our I profession. We're working. I know, I know. <laughs> I don't think my cart's that messy. I think what it boils down to is a bunch of water bottles. Jordan puts uh, old water bottles in his cart. He thinks I, I don't know, but I do. I've seen him do it before. It's a full bottle right there. I'll drink that. But I won't drink any of these. Do you put water bottles in my cart, like old ones? You don't? Okay. Not old ones. New ones? Oh. I clearly look like who I really want to be. That's what this is all about. That's fucked. Oh my god.
A baby was just born on the set of Trailer Park Boys Season 7, and it was an amazing experience. Um, Mike Clattenburg delivered the baby, uh, Zan got some hot towels, everybody helped out, Preston was there, um, and uh, it was really, and it, it was very exciting. What's going on? I don't know. I just... I'll smell my post-its. Here's the park, or well, a scaled down version of it. There's Rob stating it embraced the curse. And it, as you can see, there's also a, uh, well, he's, he's broken now, but there was a cheese cracker alligator snack there as well. You fuckers, want a party down there? You're a dryer. I had a couple of drinks. You told me to have them. He's fucking had. Eight to ten drinks, this is fucking horseshit. Well, I'm supposed to be drunk in the scene, so you told me it was all right. Drink a couple beers. You fucked up, Mike. No, I didn't, man. How many beer? I don't know. Well, maybe. You need a producer on set. Oh, he's best. He's best, but he's the one who told me it was all right. 